subscribe to our channel click on bell icon you never miss any update so what is the next task step 3 of configuration of selenium i need to download the selenium jars so just go to the selenium official website called seleniumhq.org and just click on downloads you just scroll down to a part where we have a concept called selenium client and web driver language bindings and java is the one what we are going to use just click on download download just click on download that's it so if you are working on java you need to download the java if you are working on c sharp download the c sharp okay so we are working on java so i have downloaded the java okay so we have successfully downloaded selenium jars 3.6.0 and now we'll unzip it right click on it and just go to extract files and extract it perfect so we have successfully extracted it selenium 3.60 just open it up you have uh, two jars here client combined 3.6.0 jar and in the lips also we have some jars so all these jars should be added to the project yes now let's go to the eclipse now i need to configure eclipse such a that at such a way that it understands my selenium script for that it's very important guys go to your project com dot sorry org dot selenium new is my project right click on the project go to properties java build path and just go to libraries add external jars go to the folder that is selenium 3.60 here we go and add these two jars what is on the screen you just add the two jars and after adding the two jars I can click on add external jars go to this lips folder I guess we have a few more jars then add those jars also into the project apply that's it so I have added all the required jars to the project now if I write any selenium code your tool will understand it okay now in the next session we are going to see how to write your selenium code and what are the prerequisites to write the selenium code we have a look on